Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page. I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss selection list. What is a selection list? Selection list is going to contain some list of options. We can display the selection list in two different ways. Either we can display the selection list in a drop down box or we can display the selection list in a list box. If we display the selection list in a drop down box, user can be able to select only one option. If we display the same selection list in a list box, then user can be able to select more than one options. Selection list is one of the most important control of a form. It is used to get inputs like date of birth or uh, qualification details or listing out some set of items. So let's get understand. I'm going to put a break tag over here. Then I'm going to use a paragraph tag. There I am going to write qualification. I want to get the qualification detail of the applicant. So I have written here qualification colon file save go to browser refresh you can see it is displaying here qualification colon then to create a selection list we are going to use select tag select tag is a pair tag so i am going to write s e l e c t select opening tag then i write closing select tag now we have a selection list to this selection list as i told selection list is a list of options we need to add options to it if I just say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that it has created a drop down box. If I click on this, there is nothing in this drop down box. There are no options. We can add options by using the options tag. Now option tag is the child of select tag. Option tag is a paired tag. So I am going to write opening O P T I O N option. Then I write a closing OPTION option. In between the opening and closing tag, I, I am going to write here in turn or I can say in bracket PU. File, save, go to browser, refresh. If you see now, in the drop down box, you have in turn PU. One item is added. Similarly, if I want to add one more item, I am going to copy this and paste it down. Here I am going to say UG undergraduate file save go to browser refresh. You should see now two items or two options added to the selection drop down list. Similarly, I can copy it, paste it down and I say here PG. I copy this, paste it down. I add here P dot PHT file save go to browser refresh this down you can see in the drop down list you have four options enter you can select only one item out of it or only one option as I told if you display the selection list in the drop down list user can be able to select only one option out of the available options also, we can give values to each options by using the value attribute. I am going to give here value equal to in double quotation. I am going to write in turn. I am going to say I indicates in turn. Then I can give value for this V A L U E value. I am going to give here U that indicates U Z. Then I am going to give value equal to I say just P that for P G then for this i am going to give value ph that indicates phd i am going to give a name to this selection box here i am going to say name equal to in double quotation i say slct that indicates select qualification qualification now what happens when i access this name in code then whichever the item is selected that items value is going to be returned back in the code file save go to browser refresh 
we have here intern if i select ug automatically u value will be written in the code when i say slct qualification dot value i get u similarly we can display the selection list in a list box instead of a drop down box to create a list box all you need is you need to add an attribute called as multiple to the select tag if you add it what happens we see file save go to browser refresh you can see that now instead of a drop down box the selection list is displayed in a list box where we can see all the list items as we have set the attribute multiple user can be able to select more than one items now more than one options now he can click he can use a shift key or a control key to select more than one items this time if we use the name of this selection list slct qualification dot value then it is going to return the array of values that is i am going to get i comma u if intern and ug is selected if all the i options are selected then we are going to get array of all the values i comma u comma p comma ph like that this is how you can create a selection list selection list is very very useful in application forms we can create selection list to get the date of birth we can create one selection list for date one selection list for month one selection list for year like that i am going to remove this multiple if i remove this multiple file save go to browser and refresh instead of a list box you are going to get the drop down box by default drop down box is the display mode ug or a pg we can select only one hope you guys have understood how we can create a selection list and its applications for this tutorial this much is enough guys in the next tutorial we get more information on html for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share see you in the next tutorial